Okay, so now we're going to do that part of the install. Oh, that's what it's like, though. Good thing. I promise you guys a shot. Um, cool, huh? Nezrak, and we're back with another episode of Cars 101. Today, we are talking about horsepower versus torque, okay? Now, horsepower is, let's start off with torque, because it's easier to explain it this way. Torque literally is how much work a vehicle or your engine can do in a given amount of time. Uh, horsepower is how many times that force can be applied, okay? So think of it this way. Your engine is this powerful, okay? Let's say uh, your engine can lift 50 pounds, okay? And every time you have a, you know, your RPM range pretty much dictates how many times it can lift 50 pounds a given amount of time, okay? Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. So, let's talk about what you can relate horsepower and torque and extreme torque to, because torque is a little bit easier to achieve than horsepower. So I'm gonna explain it uh, uh, as simply as I possibly can. I'm gonna explain it with animals. Animals and cars, okay? So we're gonna start off with the middle ground, torque, okay? Um, torque essentially is uh, your Mustang, your Ford Mustang. They always, they've always had torquey motors. Not a lot of horsepower, but a lot of torque, okay? So if we were to take, say, a 1989 Ford Mustang Fox body, okay? Uh, a GT with a 5.0 in it, it has like 175 horsepower and 315 foot pounds of torque. Um, that's not a lot of horsepower at all. 175? Let's be honest, there's Hondas out there right now putting out that horsepower from the factory, okay? But the torque is like 315 horsepower, or 315 foot pounds of torque, or pound feet of torque, okay? So I mean, 315 pound feet of torque will move the car, okay? Um, the best way I can explain it is if you were to take a Mustang and compare it to a Mustang, like a horse, a <laughs> okay, if you were to compare it to a horse, um, a horse isn't very fast. It only runs like 40, 45 miles per hour. A fast horse is 45 miles per hour, okay? Um, but they accelerate <laughs> very, very quickly. If you've ever seen a horse in real life accelerate, they accelerate quick. It's like three three steps and they're gone, okay? So, I mean, that's that's quick essentially what the Mustang is. It's, it's just like a horse. It doesn't go super fast, but it could get there real quick. Okay, so uh, zero to 100, that's nothing when you have 315 foot pounds of torque and the right transmission, okay? Now, let's talk about horsepower. What would be the best vehicle to represent horsepower? Can you guess? The Honda S2000, did you say? Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Um, a 2003 Honda S2000. The F20C engine in that car produces 240 horsepower and 163 foot-pounds of torque, which is kind of pathetic, okay? But at the same time, it has 240 horsepower, which is pretty fucking impressive, okay? So let's talk about what animal would relate to this. The best animal I could think of is a cheetah, okay? Now, if you were to think about a cheetah, small, slender, and really fast, you'd think, you know, hey, he takes off like a rocket, this, that, and the other. No. Actually, a horse will probably accelerate to its top speed faster than a cheetah will accelerate to his top speed. 40 and 70 miles per hour, okay? While the horse just takes off like a rocket, if you've ever watched the Discovery Channel, you've ever been a total nerd like I was when I was a kid, you'll actually recall the way a cheetah sounds like when he accelerates, and it's a, it, it directly relates to the Honda S2000. When a cheetah starts to take off, you hear, Okay, and every time he does that, it's a 20-foot stride, okay? When he's at top speed, it's a 20-foot stride. So he's jumping 20 feet, bringing his paws down to claw down for another 20 feet, okay? That's why they're able to go 70 miles per hour. Uh, <laughs> if the nerd in me came out 
Yeah, that's fucking amazing. 20 feet, dude? <laughs> in one step? That's fucking amazing. But that's, not like, that's why they're so fast, okay? And the Honda S2000 is the same way. That car's actually really heavy for the engine that's in it. You'd think 240 horsepower would be more than enough to move that car. It's not, because the torque is too low. Okay, now if Honda were to design that car with 240 horsepower and 240 foot-pounds of torque, it'd be amazing, okay? There would be nothing on the street to fuck with it, okay? But 2,800 pounds in that car uh, is actually too much <laughs> for the horsepower and torque ratings, okay? So, I mean, when you hear an S2000 take off versus a Mustang, this is usually what you'll hear. A S2000 will go, okay, and the Mustang will just be, and take off. That's the difference, okay? And that's what runs races, to be completely honest. Like to the light races. If you're on the freeway, uh, S2000 will destroy Mustang. Sorry. I love Mustangs more than S2000s, but we're being honest here. Now, lastly, we're going to talk about extreme torque, okay? When I say extreme torque, I'm talking about uh, diesels, turbo diesels, Dodge Cummins, Chevy Duramaxes, Ford Power Strokes, the big ass trucks that you hear the guy get out and brag about it having 400 horsepower. And you're like, all of that truck and all of that engine and all you have is 400 horsepower? Guess what? These school buses and these big rigs, they don't have more than 300 horsepower, generally, okay? But their torque is at like 1,200 foot-pounds of torque, okay? So they can work really hard and pull really heavy loads without, without ever having to really rev the engine because the engine's built to work, okay? So what will we equate that to? We literally equate that animal to the ox, okay? The ox that's out there pulling the plow can do it all day long and doesn't get tired. Let them go get some water, let them eat grass for an hour, and let them go get some more water and put them back to work because that's how that creature is designed. He's not fast, he's powerful, okay? He's pretty much the bull, okay? The, the, that animal can pull all day long and not care, okay? But if you were to try to pull with the cheetah, he wouldn't be able to move it, okay? If you were to try to pull with the busting, he'd probably move it a little bit, but not as efficiently as the ox, okay? So it's all about the application. Um, I'm not sure if that's cleared anything up, but that should tell you the difference between horsepower, torque, and extreme torque, okay? And I, I put extreme torque because it works a different way completely from horsepower, regular torque, okay? <laughs> uh, and it's not meant for speed at all, but that's kind of changing too. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. This is Nezarak. Deuces.